What's up, my pilots? We are back playing Spyro 3, and my volume is too loud. Why does this always happen? One game is so much louder than the other. Alright, let's go help out Agent 9, like I said we needed to. I was actually planning on doing that before I went to the final sorceress battle, but, you know, just couldn't, uh, couldn't resist going to fight the boss, man. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc! Ooh, take it from me, Spyro! Never spend a week in a cage! Ah, next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinox. Mm. Well, gotta go, Mr. Laser Blaster, and I have a whole lot of work to do. Agent 9 is such a spaz. He really is. Ah, Agent 9, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. Oh, okay. Hi, Professor! We saw you in the closing cutscene. We weren't, uh, well, actually supposed to yet, but whatever. So yeah, you might recognize this little area here as from the, from the uh, final cutscenes there. Of course, you know, they aren't really the final cutscenes yet. So we got, whoa, yeah, laser gun. Sp Agent 9 controls a little bit strangely. He doesn't have anything on the square button. This does nothing. Yeah, the circle button fires a laser. Oh, shut the professor. Oh, it'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up. But, uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding among them. Oh, gosh. Shoot all dummies and any occasional Rhinoc. What you can do is go into first-person mode like this. Oh, yeah, I think there's a Rhinoc over there. Dude! You shot me in the face, man! You jerk. Yeah, this, these levels can be really, really tough. Trying to get these things to, to collide is difficult sometimes. Let's just go crazy. And of course, you, you can't quite break these things here. I think the laser blasts are actually, yeah, it ricochets, so you can do some pretty crazy stuff if you just keep shooting a lot. And you have unlimited ammo. And it fires fairly rapidly, so it's not too bad. You can even fire in the air. Honestly, jumping is your best way to get out of, uh, get out of the way when someone's shooting at you, so keep that in mind. All right, let's open up the way, Professor. The vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they come out. Okay, that doesn't really make sense, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Shot the button. Yeah, go for the button right away. Yeah, in my face. Y'all crazy. That's basically a, a schema that's des that's defined this whole level. So anything you see a button, shoot one. There's another door at the end of this beach, and Rhinox will keep coming out until you shoot the red panic button. Work your way up the beach by dodging and using the natural cover on the right side. All right, deep. How do I? Oh, I want an R1 to dodge, huh? Oh, right, strafing. Yeah, that sounds good. Gosh, that makes this so much easier. I'd forgotten you can do that. Do circles, when you're circle strafing around somebody, it's basically the go-to strategy in a shooter game if you don't really know what you're doing. It's just circle strafe. And just keep circle strafing the whole time. Strafe one way, strafe the other way. They really were taking a, a risk going into this, uh, doing this sort of thing in a Spyro game, but I think they, they implemented it fairly well. And as you can see, once, once you've got the circle strafing thing down, it, it becomes quite easy. Well, let's not miss gems now. I, I see that balloon back there. Probably should take that out. Let's shoot the balloon, shall we? There we go. Hey! Must be the money! Man, I haven't thought about that song in a long time. Can I get up here, or is this a slide back down for later? Maybe. Can't go in these doors, can I? No. Oh, I do miss the charging, though. Just strafing is interesting. It's not immediate, so... Don't expect it to... Don't, it's not really dodging, it's more strafing, so don't, don't try to use it like it's a dodge, because it won't work that way. Hey, Prof! These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Ooh! Press the triangle button to enter sniper mode. Ah, here we go. Oh god. Gotta shoot them as they pop up, I suppose. It's hard to tell where they're gonna appear, and you can't see the whole thing at once, so you gotta keep looking around. Oh, 
Oh, that's all of them. Alright, cool. You cleared them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Oh, those disgusting slobs. I'm just rolling around in their own feces. No, wait. Do, I, do rhinos do that? I don't know what rhinos do. They're probably pretty gross one way or the other. Animals of the African Sahara don't usually have uh, hygiene as their highest concern, you know? Which makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so we cleared out that little area. Is there anything back there? I feel like there would be. This is a Spyro game. What's up here? Come on. Give me some gems. Give me an egg. No? Okay. So, I guess the professor has been here for a while trying to find the dragons, but it turns out his he actually went to where they lived a thousand years ago because his book was out of date. It's interesting. I never really had a chance to talk about the plot, or what was actually going on, but I really don't think Spyro has any reason to trust Bianca, but then again, she sort of displayed her trustworthiness. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. What? To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then, zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. I need to zoom in. Oh, wow, you actually can zoom in and out. I did not know that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Take that! Oh, I guess you don't have to zoom in, but since these are kind of far away, it's going to be hard to hit them otherwise. And the controls for this are a little bit wonky. Can I hit him through there? Yes, I can. Nice work, Agent 9! Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. What do you think? I think it's a baby dragon! B Bula. Bola? How do you... I don't... Mm. Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. Thanks. I hope no birds got in there. Oh, God. This could be bad. Yep, more birds. Delightful. Yeah, so you gotta take out the rest of these birds, too. You don't want to be in the middle of the room when you do this. Just kind of step to the side. Go over here. And yeah, you see some of them flying around. Just go crazy. You're not gonna break the machinery or anything. It's not that. It's not that realistic. It's not one of those cover-based shooters where you can actually break things that you shoot, destroy boxes, like chainsawing things in Gears of War. That's so satisfying. You find an old couch laying out somewhere or something like that, and you just chainsaw it for no reason. It's fun. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Oh yeah, fried Follow chicken. outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Ooh, a charge attack? That's what Spyro would get. Since his flames doesn't work on armor, he gets his charge. If lasers don't work on armor, each of nine should get like a mega punch attack or something. Or a body slam. Maybe he just throws shit out of them. You know how monkeys go. Alright. Let's get the gems. I gotta use the... well, never mind. I was wondering if I could even use the Sparks Compass as Agent 9. I'm not totally sure if you can. Anyway, let's go out here. Oh, right. Grenades. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. Cool. We'll do. Yeah, quest square to throw bombs. Cool. Thank you. I have ten bombs. Can I get more? Nope. Oh, takes time. hoo -ah! Okay, I can't throw them that far, but whatever's needed. Whoops, oh, turn around too soon for that one. Keep moving now, keep moving. It's another thing with these shooter sections, is you want to keep moving all the time if you can. Yeah, just hitting the square button tosses them a set distance. If you want to try and aim them, you can, but might not get away with it sometimes. There we go, that's what I wanted. Where's that potion? These are your fodder in this level little test tubes, or actually they're Erlenmeyer flasks hopping around. Let's get the gems! Hmm. Oh wow, for a second there I thought, I thought I had a nosebleed. Put something dripping in there, man. Gross, right? One, two. I thought I saw one up here, above this. That's why I came back over here. So what is this? Can't break it. Maybe the, maybe the professor will lower it for us later. Yeah, but you can get your ten. Your ten bombs are telling me to go by there. Do you have more to say to us, Professor? This is probably the most heavily narrated level we've been in.
Just a few more enemies left. You can do it. Woohoo! You can do it all night long. See me just jump right over their shots. It's great. Use our circle strafe combined with the jump bomb throw. Oh, traded blows, but oh well. Works out for us in the end. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Uh, now I can resume thinking. <laughs> what? You didn't even explain where you found this baby dragon. Rowan. Alright. Aha! <laughs> I, love the, I love the professor. He's one of my favorite characters. I miss him in the beginnings of this game. No. <laughs> so funny. Now, did that... I wonder if the power shield goes back over there. No, it's still on. Okay, let's get the fodder with a bomb. It's overkill much. Dude, get over here. Stop running in circles, man. It's these old games, man. You can't go in circles very well. Yeah, I did see something over there. This is, this is, these are the ones I actually noticed. Oh, come on. Sneak around the corner there. So how am I supposed to get... Oh, I think I know how I'm supposed to get back in there. No? Can't just shoot the switch? Toss a bomb over it. Hey, look at that. That actually worked. Hey, yeah, look at that. Wow, I pulled it off. Stop talking there for a second. It's trying to focus, but, you know, hey. Cool. Uh oh. More Rhinox. What the heck's going on out here? This doesn't seem to be that bad. It's like target practice. Yeah, and your sniper mode might be useful here, but whatever. You can just shoot him from here. It's not that hard. A little bit less accurate than you would be otherwise, but... That guy's way out there. Oh, I got him. I was about to say. Don't try and pull that crap with me. I know he has a baby dragon in the boat with him. Alright, three eggs, man. Cool. Three for three! Three for three for. Look at all the gems. Jeez. It's crazy. Using a laser gun to break open these little baskets just seems like overkill to the extreme. Alright, I guess now we need to find our way back to the beginning of the level so we can uh, blow up that chest at the beginning and pick up the gems from it. I don't think there's any gems hiding up in the bird nests or anything like that. Insomniac wouldn't be that cruel to us. They're not like Nintendo. <laughs> oh, man. Give us our flame war. Alrighty, then. Yeah, I'm basically just looking to get this chest and finish the level. I think that might be all that's left, so... We'll see. I can't blow open these doors or anything, can I? No. Alright. Well, that makes sense. Where is that chest that was behind us at the start? It's right here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Blow it up. Get those gems, man. Let's do it. Come on, finish the level, finish the level. Oh, I must have missed some gems. Alright, let's see. Over there. Alright, I'll go find them. Let's see what we can do. Still pointing me that way. I wonder where I missed them. Up a little bit, it seems. In there? Okay. Maybe they're back in the machine room or something. They're definitely inside the mountain. I hope they're not floating up in the air somewhere. Those are particularly difficult to find. Let's see, is it in here? I wonder. You think that, that doesn't do anything here? What about a bomb? Maybe not. Gems right above me? Are you serious? Where? That's kind of strange. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Maybe these are the last ones. Yeah, there we go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Level complete. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you ne next time.